Hello everybody, welcome to the father-son babbling podcast. Babbling. the son, he's the father. What? That's not how this is supposed to work. I'm the son, yeah. you're the dad. Oh, okay, sorry. No problem. Uh, common mistake. Just common. Uh, so, this is episode one of our podcast. Uh, just, okay, there are flies going Things like uh, betas, alphas, champion tails, and a couple other things. Uh, anything you would like to add to start off with? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm a, a a Call of Duty lifer, I guess you could say. Where I'm not not a huge like play it over and over again, but I have been there since the early days of um, uh, World at War, stuff like that. I loved it for the Zombies map, and or the Zombies mode, and getting into the uh, multiplayer was something that uh, I did with some friends, and it just spiraled into, okay, I need every Call of Duty now that ever comes out, which I do have. Uh, I don't think I have World at War anymore, which kind of sucks. You should. I, mu- I might have it on, uh, are we praying? You have it on... Uh, uh, a disc, maybe? Yeah. For Xbox? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I, uh, I got uh, a little nostalgic yesterday when I looked at some of the old maps on uh, World at War seeing how they compared to the ones today and uh, they they used one of the names from one of the old maps courtyard courtyard is um, it's in one of the games it's been remastered yeah the one in in world at war is the one with the japanese pagodas and all the i think it was what red roses or something like that really good map one of my favorites but I don't think it's going to have anything to do with what it is, unless they do like a an Easter egg in there and throw in a Japanese pagoda or red roses or whatever. But yeah, I'm looking forward to new maps. I wouldn't mind some um, real world maps. That would be that'd be fun, you know, like a, like an actual place. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower would be a good example. Um, you know, in uh, games like The Division, where they actually have the maps are, are set to scale and stuff like that, if they could do that in somewhere that, that we would know where it is, like, you may... Um, was it Black Ops 4 that had Piccadilly? No, that was Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Piccadilly Circle is an actual place, so, you know, do it to scale. You could throw in your boxes and garbage knocked over to make it look like it's war-torn. But, you know, stuff like that I would like to see map-wise. And then four Champion Hill maps. So that's 20 maps at launch. One of the most that Call of Duty's actually ever had. It was 16 before it was the most, was it not? 
Uh, around that. I thought so. I, I... But that that usually encompasses every everything, like sixteen old together. I can literally hear that fly. Yeah, I know it's annoying. That is really weird. We need a uh, one of them hanging things. Fly traps. I don't know. Put one on Becky back there. Maybe. That's why the flies are in the there. corner that nobody sees. Yeah, it's probably a, uh, a better idea. All right. So, uh, the first thing that I have here is um, talking about the alphas. Uh, so the alpha is pre-downloadable now. You can get it on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. Uh, you can play it on the 27th to the 29th, so this coming weekend. So if you preload it now, it'll be ready for Friday. Yeah, it'll be Friday. 27th. Friday probably around, I'm guessing around 10. That's usually when Call of Duty's update. When things are added. Um, so, I know that PlayStation getting its stuff first is like a... It's a money thing. PlayStation pays to get... Oh, yeah. Like, they used to pay to get things first, but now that we get everything together, they get, like, special things. Like, for Cold War, they have that, um, that zombies... Zombies mode where you like face zombies in multiplayer maps. They add them in. Yeah, they add in multiplayer maps. They did that, and then in, you can in the last one, didn't they? No. I thought I remembered they playing remember. playing a game that did that. Uh, World War Two. Okay. Horde point. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm assuming that the nightmare style of zombies mode is no more, no more alien invasions. I think they did that back on, was that advanced warfare or infinite? Aliens? Yeah. Remember? Ghosts. <clears throat> oh. Ghosts yeah. and then infinite warfare had some at the end. That which we shall not speak of. Uh, Infinite Warfare wasn't bad. Zombies in Spaceland was good, but Zombies is for a, another. Oh. Um, they did that with uh, what was it called Redwood or something? Where it was like uh, the Redwood. Yeah, that that I didn't mind that because that kind of threw me back to the Friday the Thirteenth days. It, that's what that was totally based off of. Zombies in Spaceland <coughs> is one of my top. Zombie maps of all time. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's unfortunate because you can get so many zombie maps and you only like one. And then yeah. you just throw the, the other ones away. The rest just go away. Yeah. yeah it's... Uh, so but do we know... Getting back... Yeah, I was going to say, do we know uh, what the view count is on Vanguard for the trailer on YouTube? Uh, Last time I checked they were at 19 million and the Battlefield trailer was at 18 million but the Battlefield trailer had already been well, out for a month so I'm just wondering if people are... It's been out for two. It's been out for two. Two months already? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess so. There's already been everybody's reactions online Vanguard has, uh, do we have the actual, has, where did you see that? What? Because the Call of Duty one has 429,000. Oh, that's Champion Hill, I'm sorry. Sheesh. Uh, 18 million still. Still. Yeah. Um. So everybody's seen their stuff, and now they're yeah. just waiting patiently. For multiplayer. See, I think that right there kind of shows because there's so many within that short amount of time that Call of Duty still goes above the battlefields and, and stuff like that, but they've got to be careful that 
um, with all these other games coming out, Battlefield 2042, uh, Halo Infinite, uh, even Rainbow Six ex Extraction, they can't just be like, oh, we're going to throw something together and give it to you guys. Like, I think they have done that with a lot of the older games. Not not recently, I think. Maybe World War II and Ops up. 4. Yeah, Black Ops 4 was a bad one. Oh, It was wow. just thrown together. Well, no, they gave us Blackout. That was, that was the first style Black... of Battle Royale for Call yeah. of Duty. But... Blackout was made in the first or in the last two months because they were gonna have a campaign there, mm -hmm. and then they were like, "No, put a battle royal in," and there was only two months left. Oh, that's right! I remember you telling me about that. Blackout was made in two months. Blackout would have been so much better if it was free. Yeah, maybe one day. If they the made road. it free, like Warzone. Remember, I'm always up. To, I'm always down to play that if if you ever. I don't cause... have Black Ops for installed well one day one day you will uh, what else have we got here to talk about oh we got um I put um do you think playstations should still have um e exclusive alphas uh unfortunately we live in a world where money talks so yeah, I think it's fair because they did pay for it. I just don't want it to be uh, they paid more than this place so they get more than we get. Like, eventually we're all going to be playing it. We'll all, I'm assuming it's going to be cross-play. Yeah. So eventually we will all be playing it. It's just they get it a little earlier. So I think, I think it's fair. It's fair. Maybe... And... If enough people complain, Xbox will pay more next year. I doubt it. I, you know, I, I see. depends on how much they it's, see it as being a priority. It's like this year with that zombies mode, we'll get it one year later. So whenever Cold War came out, we'll get it the year, like whenever this year, whenever whatever date or Cold War came out. Mm -hmm. It's like Spec Ops with Modern Warfare. We didn't get it until the one year later on Xbox and PC. Okay. So I wonder what they're going to do this time around for that. Maybe another Zombies mode. Something like that. Treyarch is helping them with Zombies mode? Is it? Yes. They're just helping with Zombies mode or is it? Yeah, it's just Zombies. With everything. No, they're just zombies. And Raven and Beanox are back? Raven's working on Warzone. Beanox is probably working on Campaign. I hope the Campaign is a... Uh, uh, a real-world scenario that actually happened, but, you know... It make it more interesting inside because I don't think anything is ever as interesting as they make it in the games or the movies obviously um, it's taking place after like right after World War 2 like the fallout of the death of the bad guy yeah and it's following the different fronts four different people four different people Okay. Yeah, we're we're playing as four different people from different fronts. Of oh, the war. really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's that's okay. I thought you meant they were going to do like a GTA Five style where you could choose between the. the well, you might be able to, but it might go one mission you're from the states, the next mission you're from the UK, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, cause there it, there's more than just America in in the in the war. We got to remember yeah. that. Lots of others. Eastern Front, Northern Front, North uh, uh, Africa's in there. Yeah, North Africa. I think I saw that. Yeah. Uh, Eastern, Eastern Front, Front, Western Front. It's another one that I don't really remember. All right. Well, I don't remember either, so 
It's okay. You can watch a trailer so many times and still forget something that you saw. Uh, so what are you thinking about with their guns? I, uh, I know because of the time. I, I believe, and I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right that the machine gun wasn't invented until partway through World War II. So I know that there's going oh, to should. more than likely be more semi-automatic weapons, rifles, bolt action. Um, in in the recent um, Champion Hill trailer, we saw a um, there was a fully auto uh, MG42, I think, mm -hmm. with explosive bullets. So. Oh, so it's good. Ooh. Explosive bullets. So multiplayer may not be as historically accurate as, say, like a campaign would be. Maybe. Because I there were yeah like even in World War Two the the game they had like the grease gun and yeah what is it trench gun I think they had two that were that were yeah. automatic so I know there's going to be some but I expect it to be more yeah. <clears throat> bolt no, action good. rifles and. You know, snipers, stuff like that. French gun was a shotgun, wasn't it? I don't remember. I think so. Trench gun was a shotgun. Grease gun was fully auto. Okay. Uh, I knew there weren't a lot of fully auto, though, in World War Two. No. The Let's bar. See. STG. PPSH. Didn't STG become a sniper? No. Uh, it's an SMG, I think. I'm I'm not as good at my Call of Duty guns as you are. You're more of a an expert than I am. So I bounce things off uh, of you and say, "Hey, this was a, a gun, right?" And you're like, "Yes, it was from this game and this game and this game. You could upgrade it to this. Your your knowledge of Call of Duty guns is is pretty good." Show off. <coughs> I hope we do get, like, since it's building off of Modern Warfare's engine, mm -hmm. we have doors coming back. We have that tactical sprint coming back. We have mounting can, with... Can you explain the doors thing before you get too far? It's just, like, you know how in Modern Warfare you can bash through doors? Mm-hmm. That's. Those are coming back. Yeah, I don't remember having doors in the older ones. No, Modern Warfare was the first time. Uh, and then Cold War put them back because it's not the same engine. And then Vanguard is bringing them back. And Vanguard is using which engine? Modern Warfare's. But an upgraded version. I don't know what Modern Warfare's engine's called. The Modern Warfare engine. I have no idea. Oh, excuse me. Um. So we're getting we doors back. Back tactical sprint. Tactical sprint, which is where you double press <coughs> and your gun goes up and you run faster. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's going to work for any of the heavier guns. Like the, it did in Modern Warfare. It, it was still the same? Okay. Yeah. So it'll probably be the same thing. Are we just um, going to get they're a bringing... re reach, recast the... of Modern Warfare? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, we're also getting the mounting back. But okay. they're also adding a... A couple new mechanics to it like uh, you can now move so when you mount up you can move side to side and you can oh, okay. also there's also a blind fire option where you can just shoot above oh like in GTA when you're in cover yeah okay I think they'll have what would you think about them adding a that kind of cover system to to it. I don't think it would really work because you're in first person. No, yeah. But, I mean, GTA has it. Yeah, you can still do it. But it's very 
It's very awkward, yeah. Yeah, it's awkward. Oh, uh, I've I've been looking because I was I'm planning on making videos on doing the rest of my camo stuff for Cold War because mm -hmm. I want to get as much of Cold War done in the next three months that I can. Okay. Three, two months, whichever you wanna. Um, but um, I was just thinking of. Those are probably going to be camo challenges. Like, get such and such kills, blind firing on cover. Pain. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Big okay. pain. So, look forward to that later on, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. But, um... I'm not going to have too much Call of Duty content on my channel unless it's me doing really good, which is, what... Once Never. every, I think I've, I think I've done good once every like twenty five years. How old Whenever are you? How old are you now? Doesn't twenty. So twenty years ago, I did something good. Well, twenty years and nine months ago, I did something good, and that was the last time. Um. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, we have. So the next thing that I have here is talking, because we're still, if you could believe it, we're talking about the alpha that just came out for, or is coming out for Vanguard. Uh, in that alpha, you're going to be able to play Champion Hill, mm -hmm. which is eight teams. You can be 2v2 or trios. I think you can even be solo if you want. Um, it's, it's a battle to be the last one. It's like a smaller battle royale type game mode um you can upgrade your weapons with money like you'll have these certain rounds they're called buy rounds mm -hmm. where you can go up and you can buy like up to 10 attachments for most guns some guns might be a little less like snipers or something like that and we're getting four new or four maps to come with that airstrip courtyard market and train yard uh, what do you think about that? Uh, I don't mind it. They, they call them arenas. The the maps, I noticed that the, it was eight teams, four arenas. So I'm assuming that it's going to be very small. Uh, not like an open style, like a, almost like a rust size, I would say. Um, shipment? Or is shipment too small? Too small. Um, you have to fit a train in there. I think you could probably fit part of a train in shipment comfortably. Oh, yeah. I don't think the full train will be in there. I think it will be like, you know how like you have the bus and the and the truck in Nuketown? Yeah. The train replaced those. Okay. Sorry, man, your camera's going a little wonky. What? Seem okay now. It just froze twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the first podcast. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta test things. Yeah. I already got your, uh, your figured out your voice problem from before, but, um, yeah. Other than that, oh man, it, those maps, from what I saw in the trailer, look pretty decent. Um, Do you think? No spots um, for snipers. Oh no, there's lots. I didn't see any, but whatever. It's okay. I know there's going to be because snipers are a big part of it. Do you think these maps will be like smaller, condensed versions of bigger six v six maps? They could do that. Yeah, I could see them using part of it. Um, just like uh. Man, I had an example for this, and I totally forgot what it was. There is somewhere that has that. Um, um, they do that in zombies. They'll use part of a, part of a map. Yeah. What's that? Revelations. Or, Revelations. Oh. Like something like that, where they you just use a part of it, and you you recognize it, like, and you're like, oh, that's Varuk or asylum whatever they want to call yeah. it or uh that's uh knocked there on totem the top part of upstairs you know that they could or, do stuff like that that'd be great 
or what they did with Crossroads in uh, Cold War. It's a bigger fire team map, but then they have Crossroads, and it's in just the little area that you play on a six v six. And but it's they added the snow, right? Did they have snow in the yeah. uh, the bigger one? Yeah, it's play. the same map. Just, I have to play more fire yeah, team. Yeah. I know. Let's say uh, with... We we did for a little while, and it was a lot of, okay, where where is our the rest of our team going? Okay, they're going yeah. over there. So we'll you and I would go to the other place, and then we'd land. We'd be like, okay, we got to get this. Bam, we're dead. You know. Pretty then we try it again, and bam, we're dead. It's like, wow. <laughs> so yeah. we don't we don't play too much of that. Well, maybe we'll start. I don't know. Yeah. It's got to start playing newer things yeah. so it doesn't get boring. Play the whole game so that we can enjoy the entire game. Get yeah. our money's worth. Now, so anything <clears throat> you want to add to the Champion Hill? Anything you think that they should add in the future or what you think they might have? No, I think it sounds pretty interesting enough the way it is. It's is. I'm not a... a a developer uh, I'm not smart enough when it comes to that let's put it like that so yeah. I think it's more of a let's see what they can do let's if you if they're gonna if they're willing to try new things and bring it on say hey what do you guys think then yeah sure at least it yeah. shows that they're trying and they're not just like I mentioned earlier throwing things together and saying here you go yeah like it or don't like it you know you gotta, you gotta, you gotta please your fans, and that's really hard to do. I understand because Especially everybody Activision has, right now. yeah, everybody has different likes and dislikes, so yep. it's really hard. You can to never do. make anybody happy. Yeah, you can try, but oh, like, probably won't work. This could be the greatest Call of Duty out there, but since it's World War Two, it wouldn't, it doesn't hit with those modern day fans. Yeah, who like modern warfare and. Oh, Cold Wars. So you like older, having, but... they like having the the grenades that you can see through walls and see where the guys are, like the snapshot grenades. There's some people that like that, and there's some people that don't like that. They prefer the World War II style. I think those are more mm -hmm. of the Battlefield fans. Uh, I think maybe because well, they're... that's just what I think. It's I they I have... find it. Oh, I find it weird. <laughs> um, Battlefield Five was uh, World War Two, I think. World War Two or World War One, I. I think it was World War Two. Yeah. And in the in that time, you had Modern Warfare, which was a modern day, and Cold War, which was still sooner. And then Call of Duty switches itself up to uh, World War Two again, and. Battlefield goes on to modern day. They did have some modern ones, didn't they? Hardline? Yeah, Battlefield Battlefield 4, Hardline 3. Was 1? Might have been. I don't know. I haven't played 1 or 2. I haven't. I, I'm... Battlefield 5 was really my first true Battlefield. And then I went back and tried a couple of the other ones to see how they were. But I went back to Battlefield 5. Speaking of, in the trailer, you do see that they have uh, dynamic buildings. That guy shot the wall, yeah. and it came out. I, I like that. Because it's not to the um, extent that Battlefields is. Like, remember Battlefield 5, you can destroy everything. Yeah. Like, you can go into a tank and just tear down every single building. Vanguard will have that, but it will be like you can shoot a couple of these things off the wall. You can move the chairs and tables around. You don't think you can catch things on fire. You won't be able to take down buildings. Won't be able to take down buildings. Oh crap! That sucks because that makes it more realistic, eh? If you have, a, you have a sniper in a building, second floor, you go and you throw a C4 on it and it explodes and the building topples. That would be great. That would be that would be so cool to be able to kill a camper like that. I think 
because you said you your background's that flaming yes windmill. It, it is a windmill. I, I think I think you can burn houses, like buildings and stuff, and they'll catch on fire for a certain amount of time. Oh, okay. But then they'll end up looking charred, and you can still go into it, but that can, like, push campers out, maybe? That would be good. I would like that. I think the technology for the the PS5 and the Series X and S should be able to do that. Of course, PC Master Race would be able to do it. They haven't even said what the specs are for PC yet. You probably have to have a thirty eighty T at least. Doubt it. Your processor but has to be an i nine. That would be it my has luck. To be one up, one up from every single one that I have. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But that's for best performance, not. I think uh, they might have a recommended too. Uh, I think I could. I could go a couple of rounds in potato mode. Just put yeah. all this, uh, put all the settings extremely low and see what happens. Yeah, I, I've done it in Arc and that was just hysterical. Um. So now that we're done talking about Champions Hill, just kind of uh, take or finish up the Vanguard stuff mm -hmm. with the official beta dates. Mm -hmm. Uh. So PlayStation gets. It a weekend early with a closed beta on the 10th to the 13th. PlayStation open beta comes out the 16th to the 20th. Xbox and PC gets their closed beta the 16th to the 18th, and then they get their open beta from the 19th to the 20th. So yeah, they, mm, should have them all on at the same time so that we can... Oh, it's another PlayStation paid, so they get it first. Yeah. I was going to say, testing the cross-play. Cross-play will get... Um, we'll um, do it the next week. The next weekend, where the 16th to the 20th will be cross-play. Mm. Okay. Because they're... Um, oh. Have the... Um, That's where I think a lot of the problems are, personally, with the cross-play. You have the... Oh, no, wait. You know what? Sorry. Wrong game. Wrong game. Thinking yeah, we have, we, have, we have more problems <laughs> talking to each other and playing with each other on the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, the party system there is a little little off all of a sudden you'll become robotic sounding and cut yeah. and it uh, uh, it that uh, uh, and it's just like sorry you have to repeat yourself but you don't want to repeat yourself because you're too busy trying to survive yeah so uh so final ver verdict on what or not verdict but uh how, do you think it's going to be a good game i think it'll be um, I'm going to say yes because despite all the flaws of the majority of Call of Duty games they do have a, an overwhelming satisfaction like there isn't a game where I'm just like oh god I do not want to play that Call of Duty even Ghosts I would go and play Ghosts like it's, it's not a problem so I think it's going to be good I just think because of the World War 2 aspect there's going to be some people that aren't going to care about it and for them, they can go play. They can go play Fortnite. They can go play Battlefield. Yeah. It's you want the modern enough. day, modern modern day. Is, Feel. Yeah, it's because Battlefield looks great. Yeah, it, it looks great. I can't wait for for more of that. Yeah. Uh, so that wraps up our Vanguard talk. <laughs> Went a lot longer than I thought, but hey. Yeah, that was good. It's first um, time. First podcast. So next we're going to talk about the Warzone event that we had just last week. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so what did we think? Um. Well, 
Uh, I I enjoy the the idea of hey we've got something for you if you do this so everybody work together everybody destroy this train earn your little things here and there the stickers I think there was a watch uh, probably a calling card and an emblem and, I, and a RPD blueprint that, that there well. you go see, see he's so smart and then I think what threw most people off was they expected way more than just the trailer at the end. Um, the 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 planes you and I have talked about this numerous times. The planes oh, coming yeah. over top was was just like awe inspiring. It's like holy like, shit! <laughs> how are people playing on the original consoles able to not crash? Yeah, because there was a lot. There was there was, there was quite a bit. But they weren't dynamic, though, so I think that's why it, it didn't crash. It, it was more of a cinematic kind of thing. Um, I really liked it. I, I really did. It didn't matter if you died because you just respawned. Yeah. You had uh, lots of explosions, lots of... You see other people trying to drive like cars into the train. You saw people on top throwing their C4. I know that your your brother was extremely excited after he played it. He wanted to play it over and yeah. over and over again. So uh, that was that was kind of cool where you can get that kind of reaction out of somebody. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I personally really enjoyed it. Getting, like you said, getting out there and being there with those people, actually enjoying Warzone, not getting upset or anything because you're getting killed by hackers and you can't actually get this done. Yeah, it was definitely not your typical Warzone experience. Yeah. Having to work with other people. I wonder if there were people aimbotting and doing that shit when they were trying to destroy the train. Throwing on just their aimbotting and... on random people that they can't kill? Yeah. Just, well, I wouldn't put it past anybody. Yeah. And we did. Repeat. Did we figure it out? Did it always stop at that gas station? No yeah, matter it what? did. <clears throat> it always stopped there. Because I would really like to see what happens if you, if people just followed it and didn't shoot it. If when it got to that point, did it just do the exact same thing? I don't um, know if anybody's got. I I would try it, but you got to get a lobby full of people that are willing to agree to not shoot. And the it's train. it's gone now. Is it gone? Oh. Yeah. It was poor, just for the weekend. Poor Jack. At least you always uh, have it on, on your channel to show him. Yeah. Yeah. We can always <laughs> show him. Uh, so what was the favorite part? Uh, well, there was only really destroying the trains. I liked trying to get up close to it and seeing how... How you could interact with it to do more damage to it. Yeah. The. Just the whole, the entire thing was really fun. The uh, planes at the end was really cool. Like yeah. you're having all the planes up in the sky, seeing that it was. It felt really cool. It felt like you were actually. Unless gonna get killed by them. <laughs> Unless you were on the opposite team of those planes you imagine in real life looking up and seeing dozens and dozens of fighter planes flying over top of you and you're like oh crap um i'm dead that's how it was for a lot of people back in those days man and now we're just playing games not mocking them but we're having fun mimicking. doing what they yeah i don't yeah. know I don't know how they would feel about that because, you know, a lot of people lost friends and family there, and we're sitting but, here playing a game, calling it a game when they live the real life thing. It's kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but get over it. Just shrug it off, just, man. Yeah. We paid eighty dollars to live your life. Go away. <clears throat> yeah. Uh so that's 
uh, the next thing is the future of Warzone. So uh, we have confirmation from Call of Duty that we are officially leaving Verdansk and we are getting a completely new map. Goodbye, Verdansk. And um, we're also finally getting our anti-cheat that everybody has been desperately asking for. Mm -hmm. So they can start really cracking down on those cheaters and hopefully making Warzone like a brand new game. Yeah, it it was really easy for them to do it in other ones. Why they didn't do it or in other games, like other pro intellectual properties like Fortnite. Yeah. And, like my I play Conan Exiles and they have an anti cheat system. Like what the heck? You know, so Yeah, I don't <coughs> So why didn't think it, they have it? Yeah, it just came down to Activision saying yes or no. I don't I don't understand why it's taking them so long, but it is. Yeah. Uh so new map, like do you think cuz it's World War 2, so you aren't going to have these big gigantic skyscrapers. Uh no, yeah, that's true. Um I think that would be where uh, the the city landscapes would come in handy because you don't have, like you said, you don't have the huge skyscrapers, but you do have tall buildings like 10-story buildings and stuff like that. So you could still have that effect. That's where you would have uh, yeah, you wouldn't... stuff like that. They should do a, a Pearl Harbor style map where it's like right after uh, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor that's in Hawaii I believe I'm not a geographical expert but I'm pretty sure so you could have a map there and then just I, w I would really like it to be historically accurate so the maps would have to be not just a oh here's a building what is that one the one map we were playing an old Call of Duty like month, a couple months ago and it was zombies but it was just I can't remember I'm so sorry it was uh, just one building and the little area surrounding the outside of it I'm pretty sure it was in World War 2 World War 2 Groston House yes that one Jesus you're so good at this uh I don't want to see anything like that. I would like it to be um, bigger maps. If you're going to bring in smaller maps, bring in the nuke town. That's uh, historically uh, uh, era era accurate. Like make it from the 1940s. Like, yeah. Um, uh, isn't that what nuke the original nuke town was? Wasn't that in the 1940s? Uh, yeah, they could bring that back in. I wouldn't have a problem yeah. with that. I think it was 50s more, but... No, it would have been 40s because they were testing the bombs. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do shipment, do that, but make it... Time, World War II shipment. Time, time era, yeah, like, um... Like the, the wood boxes. Yeah, the wood boxes, make them a little dynamic, maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's, there's potential there... I just don't want to have the same old, same old crap that yeah. some of the maps are. You know, like you... um, well, it's Warzone, right? So. Oh yeah, we're have... talking about Warzone, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was going back what... to Vanguard. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what what you uh, what you uh said there still works. Yeah, because you but, can have uh, it in sections, just like the yeah. um blackout like game. Yeah. So I'm still I'm still know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I get really really excited when I think about the the potential for what yeah. they could do and what I think they do, and it's always nice to to see them exceed my expectations, which is what I liked about Blackout. It was all your little favorite things in one map, just separated by a field or a road or something. That if they could do that, I would love that. 
So with this, I'm also wondering if Modern Warfare and Warzone are also going to get their um, enhancements, like you know how Xbox Series X and S, because Modern Warfare and Warzone are still Xbox One, PS4. Oh, okay. They haven't games. mentioned anything about that. They haven't <laughs> mentioned. Because maybe they can bump it up to like 120 FPS on the Series X and S and PS5 or something because they are upgrading the system. So they might be able to do it with the older, with Modern Warfare at least. Or Warzone at least. Hmm. I don't know if they will because they may not want to put much effort into those anymore. Well, it's Warzone though. Yeah, but it's. Are you talking about the old Warzone, like Verdansk, or are you talking about. No, no. Oh, I'm sure like, they'll have enhancements for the new one. Like, because you have to just enhance the graphics altogether. Mm -hmm. So Modern Warfare would have enhanced better graphics, better FPS, better looking. So, so would Warzone. It would go and look more like Vanguard would. They would up it to 60 frames per second. They would. They haven't said anything about that, but I would. They might have talked a little bit about Warzone getting a next gen upgrade. Oh, okay. I, I don't think it would really be worth it. I think the graphics in there are already pretty good. Uh, but. The frame yeah, rate makes, makes sense, though. The FPS I, makes sense. I think they would because it will make it easier for them to transfer things between Vanguard and Warzone. Yeah. Because they're, it's not like Cold War where they're using two different engines. Yeah. So they have to completely remodel absolutely everything. Yeah. They can just take it and put it over. Yeah. Which... Uh, Brings me to the last point here for Warzone, the uh, Vanguard integration. Uh, so when Vanguard comes out and when it integrates into Warzone, probably end of November maybe, I don't think they'll do it right away. Mm -hmm. For the first time ever, we will have Mo Modern Warfare, Cold War, and Vanguard, three different Call of Duties in one game that you can take every single gun from every single game and use it in one. We're going to have a lot of guns. Uh, would the guns from Vanguard be any good in uh, Warzone or Modern Warfare? They probably would. They'll make it. It's like Cold War. They'll make the newer guns more powerful so people use them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if they do that, then I, I could see that being pretty decent. It's just thinking realistically, a gun from World War II would not be as good as a, a gun from today. So that, that's why I'm thinking it wouldn't work. It, but if they it, won't make be, it, work. it won't be realistic at all. Well, we're, Call of Duty is totally gonna... realistic. What are you talking about? We're going to have loadouts with guns from 2020 with a gun from 1944. Hey, man, I'll take the grease gun. I was really good with that gun. I'll make it my secondary, and my first one will be the LC-10 or the MAC-10, and just we'll, we'll yeah, destroy it. Yeah, because, you know, use two SMGs in Warzone. That's a hey, great man. idea. Hey, man, whatever works, whatever works. Put on that scavenger perk. You don't have a problem. All I gotta do is Put follow that. you and pick up everybody's loot. <gasps> there you go. Anybody that knows me knows I like games with looting. So there you go. It's perfect. Um, Put on that new perk that makes you see people through walls. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean... But it's only if you hit them. Like, if, you, if you're hitting them, mm -hmm. then you see them through the wall. Wouldn't you know you're hitting them by hearing the hit marker? Yeah, but then you'll see after you hit them where they go. I guess, go. yeah, where it'll show you. Yeah, okay. And that then makes... you can wall bang. Bang them through the wall. Yeah, wall bang. Mm -mm. Yeah. 
Uh, what so, kind of game is this? Uh, that's it for Warzone. I didn't have... Now here, I don't have anything written down, but I would just like to know your thoughts. Uh -oh. Or what you what you would like to see. Okay. Uh, for the last... For the last part, uh, the last... Two and a half months of Cold War, what would you like to see? Um, there's only two and a half months left. I don't know if I want to see anything from them at all. Because we still um, have one more season. Keep bringing back the the old popular maps uh, whenever you can. Switch them up every month or every uh, every two weeks or so. Just say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take out hijack for a little while. We're gonna put in. <clears throat> raid or we're going to take raid out we're going to put in rust you know mix it up or just to make us happy put them all into a mosh pit yeah the old ones um, and raid hijack nuketown summit uh you want summit really rust. badly eh? i love summit you know i was watching i got i got watch mojo last night which means I saw okay. a really cool thumbnail and I clicked on it and it was Watch Mojo, which is like the longest explanation for top tens that you could possibly find. But I watched it. Do you remember World at War, a, a, a map called Cliffside? No, I don't remember World at War. I was young. Oh, man. I, I was watching it last night. I'm just like, oh, my God. I remember this. I got some really good games on that one, and I want them to bring it back so bad. But I know they won't because it's not like it's not popular. It's one. Of, it's kind of what you would call a cult classic. There's is a decent following, but it's not. Uh, yeah. It, it's not overly popular, unfortunately. But, but also yeah. speaking about like because these are the last months of main support for Cold War. Mm -hmm. Um but um we'll probably still get things afterwards like oh, yeah. uh today which is what the 24th, 25th, 24th. 24th Modern Warfare just got a new gun. A new LMG got added today. Oh. Oh, an LMG. Yeah, and now it's the best gun in Warzone, so watch out for that. Okay. Uh, I won't be playing Warzone anytime soon. You want to play Warzone tonight? Yeah, okay. I'll I'll do Rebirth Island. Yeah, Rebirth is good. We need uh, duos back. Yes, and for the companies, I understand that everything in the in these games is practically multiplayer except for the campaign. Zombies can be, but it doesn't have to be. But I understand that you're catering to an audience where it's multiplayer, multiplayer, but there are those of us that just want to play it alone. So you need to keep the solos in there. You have to keep, like, this one guy wants to play your game, and he can't because the only thing available at that time is trios and squads. you got to jump in with a bunch of people. And I'm sorry to say this, but it's true. It's a kind of a toxic community. And they don't want to play with people like that. I don't want to play with people like that. I, I would rather play with people that don't care and just want to have fun and just play the game. Yeah. And the company has to think about that and say, okay, well, let's maybe keep solos in there for good. And then yeah. if they if they meet somebody and say, hey, man, you're really good. You want to you wanna do a duos? Then go ahead and do a duos. You, that, yeah. That's the one thing that really bothers me because – if there were solos all the time, I would probably play a lot more Warzone. Oh, Rebirth it has Island. Solos, yeah. Rebirth has never had... I, I think the reason it hasn't had a solos is only because there's so many people allowed. Like, I'm pretty sure it's only like 64 people. Yeah. You could do a it's mini a battle royale, though. A mini royale, yeah. A 50-person battle royale, and... I'll just I sit don't know why security and stay there forever until I win. Yeah, I don't, under, <coughs> I don't know why they haven't put Rebirth in solos yet. But hopefully they... Because um, remember at the beginning of Warzone where 
it was just quads or trios. It was yeah, trios. Was, yeah. And then they added quads and then duos and then solos. Yeah. But and for dance solos is horrible. I also yeah. Well, no, it depends on how you play your game, but uh, I understand too that you can put it to don't fill squad and you can play by yourself, but you but gotta you, you gotta have skills to make it to anywhere near the the front of the winning circle if it's you versus four other people every time that you're up there you gotta be cheating oh like z <laughs> that poor mm. guy he's canadian yeah. he doesn't cheat we don't cheat on anything um but they have confirmed that um in the next season of cold war we are getting our last well for this call of duty we're also getting our last round based zombie map uh round based yeah you know we're more getting waves? is it gonna be more like outbreak no round based like uh regular waves yeah like you did with it, it'll, Kino it'll be and like, all them It'll be typical zombies. Oh, they're that's what they're bringing back. They're bring they're one more one more of those maps. Okay. Uh, and I think we're getting Crossroads as our season five mid outbreak map. Okay. Crossroads is getting added. Or what? I think the bigger map's called Crossroads too. Uh. Based on the multiplayer map, just bigger. Yeah. Okay. It's the fire team version of Crossroads. I'm gonna have to go in there and check out that fire team someday. <clears throat> See if it's uh, any better. But that, um, yeah, we'll get so we'll get that last zombies map. Uh, then I don't know when this season ends. Probably a little bit before Halloween. Hopefully we get that Warzone Halloween event again. I will play the shit out of Warzone if that comes back. The the uh, jump scare packages, yeah. I watched those over and over and over again. Those were those were hysterical. Yeah. Not so fun when it happened to me because you know I'm an old man and I tinkle when I jump. So. Yeah. Uh. Hopefully. Just, Oh, what? Just out of curiosity, uh, Outbreak. They haven't mentioned any other map for Outbreak? No, just the one. I think that'll be it for Outbreak? Uh, Outbreak for Cold War, yeah. I think Outbreak is coming back in Vanguard. Oh, okay. Okay. What's your favorite map from Outbreak? Zoo. Really? Yeah. Even though there's no animals? Uh, it's... Nice condensed areas. Uh, in another building, I guess technically, if a, if a hellhound runs through a pen or something, that yeah, there's yeah. an animal there. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, for me, I I I really like Golova, but I think I I think I like Alpine more. It's because le- the massive downhill on the snowmobiles is really cool. Yeah. My least favorite is Ruka. I don't like that one. Um, the tree one. Yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, I think I can agree with you on that one. Um, it's just not much going good. on. Yeah, sanatorium's good. I like that that one's at night. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get a good last battle pass too. Maybe another Halloween one or something. Yeah, some something just to not nothing serious, just some fun. Yeah, maybe like since maybe this one goes into like October, maybe give us like a fifty tier pass or something that'll bring us to the release of Vanguard, and then go over and do that. Yeah. Like a, just a small two operators, two guns, Halloween stuff in there. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all. But that's everything I got down.
All right, and you covered pretty much everything I had. So, yeah. Uh, is there any last minute things you would like to talk about? Is um, uh, not not really. I just I know that maybe not a lot of people are going to see this, but we have to try to remember that as a as a community of gamers, there's going to be things that we don't like that other people do like. Yeah, and there's there's. I'm going to sound like an uh, old man here, but there's no reason to to hate on people because they like something that you don't or they don't like something that you do. Just skip over it. Like, say if... Uh, I'm trying to think of an example of something that you play that I don't like in in Call of Duty. Some, some zombie maps I don't like... Uh, you know that once we had to do the power and everything, I started to dislike zombies, but I didn't sit there and go, this is freaking stupid. I hate this. This is so dumb. Why would you put this in there? I know that other people like it. So I wish that as a community, the Call of Duty community would come together and just be like, okay, I don't, I don't like this. I'm just going to skip over it and go to the next one because it makes for a much healthier environment and it makes it so much more enjoyable. Double agent the other night. Yeah, there you go. There's a thing I never ever want to play again. But I will. Because yeah. practice does make perfect. And I was and getting the hang of it. I just don't understand the concept behind it. Being double agent was pretty cool. I thought it was easier to be an investigator because you had protection. Oh. And you, you actually got to do things. Oh, I think he's gone, guys. He froze. Oh, I'm here. Hello. Oh, Hello. There we go. I'm, oh, I'm oh, in the void. Oh. I'm in the void. Ah. Rest in pieces. No, I'm still here. I'm oh, still there here. There we go. Okay, so, there we go. So now yours did the, the two time freeze? Yeah. I wish I could remember what I was talking about. Um, so I could I remember. Something, something about. Something. The Something imposter. Oh, it's easier to be an investigator. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Double agent. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was pretty. I don't know. With they double didn't... agent, you could go and you could just start shooting people and destroying field mics and evidence and stuff. Whoa. But it's so hard to do that on the smaller maps where it, if you shoot somebody, somebody else is going to see you. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why I wasn't getting my eliminations. I killed both double That's, agents in one game, no, in one it, kill cam, and I didn't get my eliminations. Because it's eliminating operatives when you're a double agent. When you're a double agent, you get oh. the limbs for killing operatives. Well, why wouldn't I get eliminations counted for... You? I don't think you ever killed. Oh, I killed. Oh, I killed. I had at least four. Within... <laughs> Within the four rounds that we played, like, what, six rounds each? So within 24 rounds, I got at least four kills. A lot of it was just, oh, is this guy going to be a bad guy? And then all of a sudden, he's shooting me and I'm dead. Yeah. That was the bad part. I I was just thinking here, uh, something I forgot to add to the Vanguard area. Mm-hmm. They have talked about different types of multiplayers that they they want to bring in. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's this one, it's called Blitz. It's uh, where you go on to like, any, any map. Okay. And it may vary considering the size of map and stuff. But they fit as many players as possible on one map. Yeah. And you just go and do it so like if you take nuketown for example mm -hmm. 18 players on nuketown oh yeah we were talking about this the other day yeah yeah like, I, uh yeah i'm up for that it'd be almost like a crank but without exploding yeah pretty much and that, that kind of intensity of a lot of people yeah I, yeah I, I i that'd be cool I'd like that. But that's all I had for that, so 
that that's it that concludes our call of duty that's... podcast our first podcast our first podcast the first attempt at a podcast hopefully everything yeah. goes smoothly in editing and for me for me your voice is really loud but i noticed when i adjust it on my obs it doesn't change so i left it up yeah. at a decent level hopefully it stays there yeah you too um uh, but yeah uh thank you everybody who stopped on by yes thank you very much uh, should look in the camera maybe maybe <laughs> uh but or and uh make sure you hit the like make sure to subscribe because we will be doing more of these uh ding hit that bell icon and i will see you in the next one later